I'll sing it again. Love you and protect you. Could you tell which vowels were modified? I'm Camille Fanikar, singer and voice teacher with 30 Day Singer, and today I have three secrets of great singing to share with you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. One, vowel modification is your best friend. Vowel modification or vowel tuning is when a singer uses a combination of vowels or a shade of a vowel instead of the basic version they'd use when speaking. A really common example is the E in the word me or baby. Listen carefully and you'll notice most singers don't go me. Instead, they might sing something closer to me. Me. Listen to this line and see if you can pick up on the vowel modifications. The lyrics are love you and protect you. Love you and protect you. I'll sing it again. Love you and protect you. Could you tell which vowels were modified? I didn't really sing love you and. I sang something more like love you, you, love you and, and, not and. This concept isn't a secret. Great voice teachers have been teaching about vowel modification for centuries, but it feels like a secret to a beginning singer because you don't often notice it, especially when the modification is done well. You might have even struggled with a specific note or lyric, not realizing that the singer you're trying to imitate is modifying that vowel to make it easier and sound better. Two, voice typing is a journey, not a test. I've personally been told by different vocal experts that I'm definitely an alto or definitely a soprano. And both things can't really be true. That is, if you hold tightly to the concept of voice typing at all. Voice types are more helpful within the realm of classical singing, but even then, not every voice fits neatly into a box. Your range might be too wide to fall within just one voice type. For example, I can technically sing within the alto range, E3 to E5, and the mezzo-soprano range, A3 to A5. I personally lean towards alto in most solo singing, but I'm happy to sing mezzo in a choral context and for some classical solo singing. In addition to your range not fitting in one category, the weight of your voice might be in flux as you age and train. The agility of your voice, too, is difficult to determine at the beginning of your singing career. That's why I'm saying voice typing is a journey, not a single test. Especially as you're growing and developing your voice, be flexible and open to change. Don't limit what you try based on someone else's assessment of your voice. Over time, you will learn for yourself what range and types of singing feel like the most comfortable fit. And three, celebrity singers and teachers don't have secret techniques. Voice teaching traditions, especially in the classical realm, are common knowledge passed down over centuries. Contemporary vocal technique also draws upon a common knowledge base, including voice science, which is no secret. Of course, the interpretation and application of that science will vary. Teachers have preferences, different levels of experience, and ways of explaining things, but you can rest assured that you won't unlock some groundbreaking secret technique if you studied with a celebrity coach. I hope these secrets gave you some reassurance. Wherever you're at in your singing journey, I want you to enjoy it. Thank you for watching. What would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.